well guys another day here in this beautiful area today we'll explore the batat rice terraces one of the most beautiful rice terraces in the area so it will be a fun trip i hope and uh, we will take the jeepney today so this is the jeepney here that we will take today hello guys hello. how are you again good morning adam adam nice to meet you nice to meet you sir. sorry for my hands i ah, just okay. put some sun cream <laughs> <laughs> that i don't burn with my white skin <laughs> so yeah let's go then Fearless. <laughs> So let's go guys at the top of the jeepney. So yeah guys and it seems that we're lucky again with the weather. Lovely weather again. Hello! <laughs> We're lucky with the weather again. Yeah, huh? we're lucky. Nice. So in the truck in front of us, they're uh, picking up the garbage and then separate it manually. That's how we maintain Banawi's skin. Yeah, smart. So you see, the people give the garbage and then they manually sort it inside the van or inside the truck. And uh, like you heard, that is how they keep the streets clean here in Banawe. Uh, like everywhere in the Philippines, always a lot of traffic, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the people are so friendly here, eh? Yeah. Wow. You really have the best view here from the top of the chimney. <laughs> Go to court there. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Yeah, the green? Those are the baby rice to be planted. Ah, those will be planted. Yes, uh, to be planted uh, one by one uh, on those uh, unplanted uh, part of the rice fields. You see those? Uh, you see that uh, person down there? Yeah, yeah, I see. Uh, she is picking snails. Ah, snails! Yes, 
because we need to pick these nails because when there's too many then they can damage the newly planted rice ah okay so you can and see there, there are a lot of snails there normally yeah ah a lot yeah yes uh, one of our activities to pick them one by one yes and what do you do with the snails ah we put them on the plastic and then put aside ah, okay because when there's too many they can eat the leaves of the newly planted uh, rice and at the same time when we are working sometimes it's dangerous because when you step on them then it cracks the shell it can create wounds those uh, seed beds as you see uh, they have like a division so like in a pot so that's how we separate the variety of rice from red brown white and then the black rice yeah so it won't be uh, mixed together but the most rice you see here when you go to restaurants is always white. I, I never saw one place where they had brown or red on the menu. Uh, today, uh, I'll make it like a surprise. You can have the original one. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I look forward to it. This is actually a really beautiful rice terrace. Yeah. And I never heard about it before because you, you always hear about the five, like I told yesterday. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, but this is also really, really nice. But that, uh, this is what I'm telling you yesterday. Yeah. All those five places in Banawe, yeah. those are only the one who is published in internet. Yeah. But actually, when you come in Banawe and explore, there's many. Yeah, it's amazing. Beautiful. It's really, really amazing. What a surreal place, you know. Bye-bye! So we're gonna start our trek, right? Yes. <laughs> it's good luck. To me. <laughs> good luck to you. Yep. I think to me too. <laughs> good luck for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Batat. It's been two years that why uh, that's why the color is not that uh, green anymore. This is the sun of Batad rice terraces, the small parks. Later we can see the big one. Is this the small park? Yeah. Yeah. Small park. Because Batad rice terraces is uh, one of the wider also and highest one in the region. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's go. This is my energy today. Your walking Wait. stick. Yeah. Later. <laughs> the stick I is bigger stick. than you. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> taller <laughs> than me. Yeah. yeah. Help me hold on. Yeah. <laughs> and this is my assistant to climb in a very narrow way in the mountain. Ah, okay. Right now I have energy. Later. And, and what is my assistance? <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> Hand. <laughs> oh, I can hold your hand. Yes. But what if I fall? I will pull you with you me. You already fall with me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I fall in love with you. It's nice to see that you pick up the garbage. Yeah. So some people just throw it away. It's yeah. such a shame. Another beautiful view here. Yeah. So those abandoned terraces over there, they can also divert it as a garden for meanwhile because uh, we are basing on the harvest of the terraces when it's not that uh, good, then we can abandon so we can regain the fertility of the soil Ah, okay, yes, okay And after, we can clean it up and then fill water, cultivate and then plant rice again But for meanwhile, while waiting, we can divert it as a garden for uh, tomatoes mm -hmm. Potatoes as yeah, well? Potatoes, yeah. tomatoes, uh, bell peppers, cabbage, mm. carrots. In the Philippines, they call us the salad, the capital of the country. The whole parts like this one. Yeah. See the landslide over there? See, yeah, the, the landslide. landslide. Yeah. Yep. Right. It just happened here. 
Ayan. Most of the time. Because it's been already uh, two years, two thousand years old terraces. Mm -hmm. So we have to maintain the damaged ones or the part of the terraces who've been damaged because uh, this serves us for many generations of Ifugao tribes. Yes, as a respect to our ancestors, we must need to protect this also. Not for us, but also for the future uh, tribes. So today we will do a quiet hard hike and then tomorrow we will do a very easy one because uh, probably we both will be almost dead by then <laughs> hello yeah look at this epic view guys to the batat rice fields oh, amazing wow what do you think of it lovely lovely yeah as you are. as what as you are as me <laughs> you're so sweet what do you need so like you see over there we have the batat village and uh, we will go all the way there right yes sir okay but originally uh, that's the main uh, village but uh, after uh, some years some people settle on the hillside ah okay. okay so mostly village in Banawe is located in the middle of uh, the terraces because uh, way back in the ancient time we have tribal war so one purpose of putting the village in the middle if we have distance from the jungle so if someone attacks us yeah we can uh, you give could... the informations quickly by the way, we don't have any guns before, so the information will go around the village as uh, as quick as we can. Now it is peaceful. I, I guess back in the day it wasn't so peaceful. Ah, yes. Before, uh, we have tribal wars in many different reasons. One is the hunting ground. Yeah. Hunting ground of each village around. Boundary disputes. Yes, and over here uh, we don't have that law. Uh, we have our uh, laws, which is uh, almost based on the Bible. Don't kill. Uh, no abortions. A lot. Yeah. And then, uh, but because over here, if you kill someone, they will take revenge, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So teeth to teeth. That's how no, we settle uh, problems. And I, when I achieve from it. Mm -hmm. Whatever you took for a life, I will take it back to you. Ah, yes, yes. That's a uh, part of our culture. Mm -hmm. We are the descendant, of, uh, we are the niece of the headhunters in Cordillera. Wow. Yes. Before, uh, if, if uh, our ancestor cuts the heads uh, of their enemy, we bring it in the village. You know the bamboo? Yeah, and, and you put it on the bamboo stick. Yes. Yeah. And then we dance around for three days. Then after uh, after one, you remember the lime powder. Yeah. We put on the ice and close it. And the purpose is uh, to make uh, the soul not to see uh, the one who killed him. Oh. Yes, it's a blind. After we keep. But if we do that, we make sure everybody is prepared because uh, after a few days they will come. Yeah. For revenge. Revenge. Yeah. Yes. yes. Until now, we have one region which is in Kalinga still a very remote place uh, less I would say not 100% civilized they do, they, they do the same thing until now they still do it yes yes and is it far from here or it's um, let's say 90 90 plus kilometers from Banawe okay and it's very remote I guess it's very remote yes. yeah, yeah, yeah I operate a tour from Europe which is uh, from Czech Republic in Tauslava uh, travel agency yeah we did the trek but it's hard to organize because uh, you need to talk to many village heads or the chieftains yes to get permission to go there yes because yes. Uh, it's not easy just to enter the village because otherwise everybody's in trouble <laughs> <laughs> okay okay <laughs> so I just got myself an ancient umbrella <laughs> does it look nice <laughs> That's the North Face Rainport in Banawe. <laughs> yeah. But no rain today. <laughs> no rain today. We would say sun cover. <laughs> so
So like you can see, it's very cold today. Uh, if I remove my hat, you can actually see it's raining. <laughs> Absolutely worth it, right? Yeah, <laughs> stunning. Stunning view. Whew. Welcome to Batad, Philippines. Yeah, welcome. I saw there was a magnet saying, I survived the Batat rice fields. We will. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so right here we have a part of the original wall, right? <laughs> yep. And it's how old is it? 2000 years? 2000 years old, yeah. yes. Okay. And over here we have the eighth wonder of the world, the Batat rice terraces. Look at this, in all its glory. And we're standing here on a part of the old walls, 2000 years old. And uh, you see it's all built by little stones. And uh, they break those stones uh, when heating it up, right? Uh, yes, uh, they break stones using uh, pressures. So they covered it up with the uh, trees, start a fire, when the stone is hot, then they just put cold water, then it cracks itself. Yeah, and then it cracks itself. And with yes. those stones, they built these walls here. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, thank you. You're awesome. So uh, let's continue our walk. So we're having a little break now, guys. We started our hike from up there all the way through here and now uh, we are chilling a little bit here in this yeah rest stop gotta drink some ice cold water oh, so good <laughs> yeah. So here we are in the Batat village. What will be a lot of uh, what is that? A goose? Yeah, and a lot of chickens here as well. Oh, the goose. This is the local Batat church, and they even made a basketball, a basketball in stone. Yes, for yeah. the kids. It's nice, it's really nice. Hello. She's making she makes the scarves, or what is it? Is it traditional scarf? Uh, yes, and then a manual way. Oh, yeah. Yes. They have four tables and for uh, room blankets also oh yes so it takes time for her to build because uh, it takes uh, time how long it takes to make a scarf for example and uh this one will take let's say three to four days for one scarf yes, yeah yes. yeah this also uh, only for talented people not everybody can do yeah yeah i see i see <laughs> This is only for one day, see? Even the design. Oh yeah, because it's with special design. Oh, okay. <laughs> it takes time. So this woman actually makes this scarves or blankets from since she was 10 years old. Can you believe it? How many years uh, she does this now then? Uh, she started uh, when she is uh, 10 years old until nowadays. Yeah. Yes, so, so some of the niece, uh, she's teaching them so they can continue the legacy of these ones because nowadays in the modern days we are losing those uh, kind of uh, works or local works so that's why because they want to move to the city oh yes yeah, everyone yeah. uh, is educated yeah and then at least for the locals uh, she's making sure that uh, someone will take uh, on the legacy yeah yeah yes.
we will uh, now visit a local house here. We have to uh, ask permission first from the owner. What's wrong with that? Oh yeah. This is the typical house we have in the place. Yeah. They even have a fish pond. Fish pond. Mm -hmm. You can see here. Hello. Hello. This is the first step on how to prepare the rice before we cook. Uh, we cook, sorry. And then uh, after this one, we can uh, go to pound it. So this one, the goal is to separate this one from the seed. Because these ones, we can use it as a brooms and then or we can put it to where the chicken can lay down their eggs as a foam and then uh, if we if we have too much like this we can also put on the terraces and to be decomposed as organic fertilizers so what to do right. you just press it this one and then pull one by one okay. it's very easy all right Ilang kilos yan, kuya? Ah, more than one kilo. Po. One kilo. Yes. This is mm. more than one kilo already. See? <laughs> See? Next step. We'll go to the pounding uh, area. Uh, she said uh, you're doing good. Ah, oh, that's good. That's how to settle problems. <laughs> but it's so hard, Akuya, because we are struggling for one kilo to dig rice. How much more they <laughs> dig in one cavern? Correction, one... you were struggling. <laughs> I, I could, I could continue. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I born in the farm also, but we're not trying like this. Yeah. See? So the final process, and we have our own rice. Yeah, it's, it's a block or it's brown. Well done, Matt. <laughs> you did great, Matt. Thank you, Thank you. you thought you did it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> no, you, you, you did more. <laughs> you dig harder. Eh? Yeah. I try to. A lizard. <laughs> hey little friend, you're resting? So here they have the rice storage and here we are inside the house. This is the cooking station. Yeah, cooking station. Yeah. That's the animal they hunt before, the feet. Ah, oh. feet from what animal? Uh, pigs, we have chicken, we have geckos, monkey. Yeah, we have buffaloes. Those are the skull down there. This is a cooking place. Another cooking place they have here. Kitchen utensils. <laughs> well, I noticed it that it's very hot here. <laughs> mm. It's very hot inside. It's like your personal sauna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so now here we are gonna have some mm. rice wine. The original. That's how it is. For the wonderful track. Cheers. Tagay. Tagay. Tagay sa tagumpay. Malakas. Oh, it's strong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't drink alcohol normally, but. Uh, <laughs> mm. It's strong, eh? It's like a sauna here. Tagay. <laughs> Tagay. Mm. You want more? 
that guy no no one is enough or i will go like this when i need to go back <laughs> i don't want to fall uh, in the rice fields <laughs> but how is the taste yeah it's really good it's really good mm. but strong strong <laughs> <laughs> Thank you uh, for, for having us here. <coughs> you have the family. Uh, oh my god. Eight people lives over here. Mm -mm. here. Over here uh, we eat in this this floor. We receive visitors. Yeah. And you then, have some uh, rice wine. Rice wines. This serves as most important role in Ifugao Customary Laws. This is the boundary of genders. So men and women is not allowed to sleep together. Oh, yeah. So we use this. This is just a simple uh, part of the house, but it means a lot. There's a oh, okay. Yes. okay. So men, children, women. Oh, yes. Okay. Look at my face. It's like uh, I just was in the sauna there. <laughs> 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 and you sleep there? Oh, yes. Oh my god, I could not sleep there for sure. It's like I just came out of a swimming pool. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Bye bye, take care. Thank you. Thank you. Give me your hand. Okay. Spider woman. Yeah. <laughs> we made it. We made it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> what they said? What this place? On the magnet it was I survived Batat rice fields. I survived Batat, yes. What they say? Uh... The best view comes after the hardest climb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the end of our hike here. And uh, look at this beautiful viewpoint here with the Batat village over there. And look at the terraces going all the way up there. And uh, I want to thank this guy here. Thank you for Hello. getting us here. I don't think I would have made it alone without your help. <laughs> Uh, you did a great job. Uh, what is your channel actually? Your Facebook? Uh, uh, my Facebook page uh, I use is uh, Banawe Trekking Guide. Okay. Uh, you can uh, check in over there if you want to come in Banawe. Yeah. Yes. If you want to visit uh, Banawe, any of the rice fields in general, or you want to come here to Batat, this is the man you need to book with. <laughs> Yeah. He uh, yeah. organized every trip of me here in uh, yes. Banawe. He's a really nice guy. So thank you again so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Hello. And uh, tomorrow we will have another uh, day. Eh? Now we just have to follow the queen. Yes. Look, there is the queen. Yeah. Come and follow with us. <laughs> Be careful where you walk. <laughs> this song is very short, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna turn again. It's very dangerous. Look at this. We're almost there. Uh... <laughs> yeah, if we if we go down there, we're mashed potatoes. Potatoes and mashed potatoes. <laughs> yeah. Woo! What a road trip! <laughs> Chimney. Woo! Woo! Back with the twist. <laughs> yeah, watch out for the bushes. Bushes. Or uh, you might end up like me <laughs> without any hair. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, duck! Oh. <laughs> Another oh. duck. <laughs> okay. Always a fun adventure. <laughs> Unless you get hit in the face by it. <laughs> so the beautiful view here on the Bangan terraces. Look at this. 
from the top of the jeepney. You enjoy the jeepney, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feels that I brought aircon here. <laughs> it's warm. Yeah. And the, the air is so fresh, then the city. It's quite good. It was a good trip yeah, today. Uh, we could actually go down there as well, but we decided not to. <laughs> but uh, we have an awesome view from here, so... Guys, if you are planning to visit in the Philippines, try to put in your list with this wonderful place, the Ifugao from the Benguet. So guys, this was it for this video. So I hope you liked it. And uh, I see you guys soon on another adventure. And uh, Matt, do you want to say something? Thank you, we survived. <laughs> yeah, we survived, we survived. <laughs> Take care guys, cheers, bye-bye.